It is a beautiful day in Ohio, and this is my 2025 KTM 350 XCF. Just picked it up last week from my good buddy Wally at KTM Wheel Sports Columbus, Ohio. And I just got the CUO unit installed, so now I can dial the engine to where I like it. We're going to do the woods loop right now, and I've got the thing dialed back. I already did a video that talks about it, and I call it my 2DF map. It's gravel wet with throttle response minimized, engine braking minimized and traction control maximized at five and that's the map i'm running now it's in the white map that's where the modded maps go in the coo unit and i'll tell you i've been riding this loop with its stock and it with a stock white map and it's pretty aggressive but boy, when you dial it back, it just makes it so much easier to ride, especially in the tight stuff. It is 95 or 96 degrees today, so it is muggy. But this is where that new map, it's just so good. You can just, I'm just kind of lugging it in second and just, you can roll the power super smooth and with the less engine braking with that thing minimized man it just frees the bike up helps it feel lighter this is all just chugging in second I can do everything here in first down to first tier. But, like right there, you can just roll into that throttle and with it dial back, it's just such a smooth response. Now this bike I still have the aggressive, and it comes with the black throttle cam, the aggressive throttle cam. So I could put the gray one in too if I want to do a lot more woods riding. But with the COO, it's kind of like having multiple bikes in one. Because I can, I can, like this is my 250F map. Or maybe better call it a woods map. Oh, I missed my turn. Yeah, woods map, and then I could dial in a 450 map if I'm going to the moto track. Oh, that's so smooth. Just gives you a lot of confidence. Easy to control. And if you roll into the throttle and it starts building RPMs, it's still 350, so it makes power. Yeah, and with that engine braking, you back off. It just coasts freely. A lot more free feeling. It's not a two stroke level. It's still a four stroke, but. Listen, that thing lug. Here's my little deflection test. These new forks, they are so good. Now I go out, stock is compression 12, rebound 18. I go compression 18, rebound 24. I love the feel of that. that 
so smooth. I have the shock opened up in the back. Stock is compression 15, rebound 15, high speed is at one and a half. I run it at 20, 20 compression rebound and high speed at two and a half. And it gives it a nice supple feel for this kind of woods riding. And trail stuff. Honestly, I've been running that on some of my slow vet moto tracks, too. Oh, the green tunnel. Yeah, this... <laughs> The new chassis, yeah, it's not a night and day difference in terms of feedback. I think it's definitely got a little better tire contact patch and a little better bump absorption. I just feel what the tires are doing better, like they have more traction. Is it a does it, is it a deal breaker? If you can get a 24, there's some smoking deals on them now. I'd probably get a 24 and the money you save, buy a set of the engine mounts, the little head head engine mounts for the uh, from the 25, which are hollowed out, and get your suspension dialed, and you'll be good to go. But I, I just like the overall feel of the new chassis. I've been riding it back to back a lot with the previous chassis, 23 and 24 bikes. When you ride them back to back, if you're picky, you'll notice. But if you're not, maybe no big deal. My son jumped on my 450 factory edition the other day and it's got the cone valve forks and the new frame and he was and Brad at Rideworks did the shock but he was super impressed with the tire contact and traction feel okay CUO man that thing passes two big thumbs up now I can tune it push of a button play on my phone turn it up turn it down man you got the airbox you can change covers you can change throttle housings you can do a lot and I got a 350, I can dial it back to like 2DF or I can dial it up a little closer to 450. I like the tuners. I think the biggest thing is engine braking and throttle response. And on the bigger bikes, my 450 I do it, I dial it back. This one, I'm probably gonna do both. For the woods, I'll dial it back. For the for the track, I'll, I may wick it up a little bit, but it's fun to be able to tune. Two big thumbs up, 25, 350, XCF.